new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze lever was pure genius. Flicker, hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Old Bar's been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze lever one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. My favourite nightshirt. It's a wool asbestos blend. That's only for sleeping and it's nowhere near bedtime yet. The only drawback to my alarming clock is that I have to wake up and wind it every 10 minutes. I have no use for it while I'm awake. Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what a well-trained moth you are? Pavlov, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad moth, bad. This is the most precious thing I own. My invention book. It contains the designs for all my best inventions. A good inventor always has his invention book. It's a photo of Princess Flame. She's the apple of my eye, the cream in my coffee, the frosting on my cupcake. Strange. Whenever I think of Flame, I get very hungry. This chart denotes endangered species, which are protected by law. I prefer to stand when I read, that way I can turn the pages with my tail. Librarian Pure Flame might be taking a nap back there. I probably shouldn't. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament. My answer is no! Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight. You're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention please. Silence please. Silence for the king. Pray silence. The king is speaking. Uh, shh. I'm oh, sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh-oh, visitors! Humans, Humans in Camelot? Camelot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camelot law book will not allow such a thing, Chancellor! 
Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. Unless, of course, they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor, I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout picking? Uh, yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it, accidentally. Uh, this is a sensitive matter of state, King Orphire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, dearest. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camel Hut will be mine. Away, Mervyn! Humans! Pah! We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived. Calm down! Our opponent can be defeated! Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, yes sire! sire! Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wacko! Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash! That's an English word, you know. Ooh, that line, idiot! Oh, great. I see Sir Gasoline's been using room service again. I could most likely use this in case I make a mess. Or perhaps for something else. The royal tea kettles are always left on the stove in case the king wants a cup of tea to soothe his nerves. It's a perfect fit. So snug that no steam's escaping. I've got great news. You're going to help me with the dishes? No. If you're a knight, Daddy will have to let you compete in a tournament. To become a knight, you first need to have an existing knight take you on as a squire. And then? As a squire, you can journey into the cave of dilemma. Leave alive and you're a knight. Good luck! Bye! Well, that sure simplified things. Another perfect fit. I'm a natural at this. Not only is that inappropriate, it's silly. Not only is that inappropriate, King Allfire's teacups are on a handy spinning rack. Stand back, Flicker. I think you've done it again. It's working. Lo and behold, the automatic dishwasher. Now, how much would you pay for this miracle time saver? Don't answer, because I'm free to leave the castle. What's all this then? Good day, Chancellor. This is my latest invention, the automatic dishwasher. I see it's run on steam. Is it powerful? As powerful as a dozen knights. Fascinating. 